Hi guys, my name is Maria and it's time! <laughs> yes, it's time! We have our first, actually second, but France was like pre-start season and now we have our first actual song to react. Don't worry to France, I will react too, but uh, later on. So, we have Czechia's song for Eurovision 2024 and I'm here to review it. Aiko with Pedestal was announced a winner of S-E-C-S-E-S-E-S-E-C-Z. Sorry, I'm Polish. For me, it's Esht. <laughs> so the, anyway, they're Eurovision uh, Czech preselections. Uh, and yeah, it has a lot of controversy. I think people were surprised. I was surprised, honestly, because uh, yeah, I had another favorite and I thought that the other favorites will win. Uh, but things went differently. And yeah, let's just watch it. Let's react it and let's talk about it. Okay. Here we go. First of all, I would like to pay my appreciation, my respect uh, to the team uh, from Czechia, from Czech Republic for making preselections, even though they don't have a big budget, uh, even though Eurovision is not that popular in Czechia. So congress guys it was really great show for this kind of possibilities you have uh, and i hope every year will be better and better and better for you and you will have that millions to organize czech melody festival <laughs> so yeah i totally love it i wish i could be there this year like i will be there next year because now i'm in netherlands but if I would be in Poland, that would be much closer, so I would go. But yeah, maybe next year, I hope. Okay, Aiko Pedestal, let's go. I'm gonna react to the live version from preselections because this is the tactic I have. Uh, if there's no preselections of, of live version, only like music video, then of course we have no choice. But uh, at this moment, I'm gonna react to the version live from a week ago. Okie dokie. It's very sexy performance, I must say. The clothes are late. Well, when I was watching the um, preselections, everybody had pretty quite bad mastering of the of the voice and sound. So uh, yeah, um, I don't know how to like review it because everybody had the same problems. You know, even the best singers sounded mm, not really good. Mm. Um, it's not my kind of music, honestly. I don't listen to this kind of music, but this song has something. It's like a pum 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 pum. That's good. I don't understand really what she's singing. I need to love you. Put myself on the pedestal. You go, girl. <laughs> Very good. This is how we should do in life. <laughs> Yeah, their performance here is a bit messy, you know, it's a house, but as I said, it's just the club version, you know, it's like concert version, it's not really actual Eurovision performance, so, so yeah, these tones, oh jeez, uh, pretty flexible, <laughs> okay, Woo! wow, that scream, girl, hmm, <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. She has energy for sure. She has charisma, which is like 
very needed at Eurovision. But the voice... It's not that the, the voice is not good, because it is good. You can hear that she has the tones, she can sing, she is like properly set up for singing. It's not that she's totally amateur, she is professional. You can hear that in her voice. But the work with microphone and the dancing, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know, we had the same. We had exactly the same story with Vesna and We Are Domi. This uh, kind of the preselections they had last year, them also the mix and mastering were not really, really as it should be. And then we were very much surprised and very happy with both of these entries. Like if it goes to staging and energy and charisma and song. I love, honestly, I love Vesna. I love We Are Domi. I still listen to that songs. Vesna performance was amazing and they sing great, you know. Uh, the same we are Domi. So I think here we have very similar situation to what was last year's, past years. So I would not put like cross, you know, on the song, on uh, Aiko, because the song has potential. It just doesn't sound right in this video. Let me like put the studio version. You can hear that too then. Because I think that it will change our perception a lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally different, totally different. Yeah, it's totally different quality. Yeah, and that's the song I want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This I, I, I is good, you know? Yeah, now it sounds totally different, you know? Yeah, and I can hear what she's singing about. I like it. Okay, it's not my music, but I think it will end it up uh, on my Spotify playlist, you know. Uh, so yes, I was saying you can hear uh, here, you can hear here, example that just the performance is not good. And it's not good because she's not talented, because the song is terrible. It's just the situation that she's in, the all the things that come together with the mixing, with the sound, with the crowd, with the space, with too much dancing, you know, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% sure that she will improve very, very much till May. She has a lot of time, first of all. Second of all, uh, Czechia team showed us that they can do very nice things on stage and the artists are really into that. Mm. So it is not that bad as everybody thinks because, oh, she cannot sing. No, she can sing. She can sing really good, actually. And she has great charisma. And that's also very important um, on stage. I was a little bit surprised about the results, as I mentioned before, because uh, let me check it for first really quickly. As the turtle. 2024 results. So in the results, something weird happened. The results are weird. I mean, first of all, I would, I would not even think that she can be the winner. Uh, but yeah, as we know, that's Eurovision, so <laughs> we cannot really predict. Uh, sometimes it doesn't just go together with our own taste, you know. Um, so the first weird thing for me, it's 70% of the votes are international and 30% of the wage of the, of the votes are Czech votes. On one hand, yes, okay, like Czech people will not vote for their own country. So it is actually not for them <laughs> to like the song. But on the other hand, 
<laughs> this is their country, so they should have a right to vote, right? Like in the majority, I think. But I understand kind of concept here, but I don't really agree with that. Mm. So international votes, she had like a Aiko, she had a huge amount of these votes, like much, much more than the others. And this is what bothers me a bit, like where these votes came from. It was like, does she have like a big group of fans, you know, which can be like motivated to vote for her. Uh, And from Czech votes, she was at the place four, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five fifth place from uh, Czech Republic and the Czech votes won Ellie actually which is also surprising because I thought that would be Midi or Tom Sin 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 (laughs) Sin you know or Lenny because Lenny was also great Lenny had a third place so this you can see the here you can see the uh, the votes votes from eurovisionworld.com That's the best site, actually. I always, like, check everything there. Um, So the huge amount of votes and the huge difference is very interesting. You know, I'm not saying that it's, it's, you know, bought the votes or, you know, we saw this kind of situations before. uh, Or, like, she paid everybody (laughs) to vote for it. No, 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 it's not like this. It's that I'm really wondering... Where this co- where these votes are coming from? So anyway, we have a representative of Czechia at Eurovision 2024. As I said, it's not good now, but it will be. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm hundred percent sure. I wish all the best to Aiko. Uh, I hope she will have a great time preparing her Eurovision performance. And what, guys? That's for now. It's the first review of the season. Oh, it's time. You see, I have a lot of Christmas lights. So I'm like Maria Curry now. It's time. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Wow. 11 minutes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Too long video. Anyway, guys, please let me know in the comments what do you think about the song. Who was your winner? Who was your favorite? Did Czechia or actually international people uh, chose good or not? I will read every comment and try to answer. And I will see you now in the next video. Bye!